All aboard! Good morning and welcome to day three of the Rocky Railway. We're so glad you're here today and today we are going to learn about boldness. What is boldness? Well, it's being brave enough to say what you know is true. Being brave enough to share with others Jesus Christ. Before we begin this day, I'd like you all to bow your heads with me so we can say a short word of blessing on this day. Dear Jesus, we thank you that we can come here today and learn more about you and your love and how we can be bold. Bless every family out there. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Now today you're going to meet a new character. Today's character is named Sierra. Hmm, wonder if that could be a clue. It is. So let's get rolling on the Rocky Railway. Chugga chugga. Choo choo. Here we go. exciting day? I'm roaring to go. My name is Sierra and I'm a mountain lion. Now you might think lions only belong in Africa, but North America has their lions too. My friends and I go by other names like pumas, panthers, catamounts, and cougars. 
That's because I live all over the western part of the globe, and different people have different names for me. In fact, aside from humans, no other mammal covers such a large range of territory. I am one cool cat, aren't I? My tawny fur doesn't start out like this. As a baby, I had spots. I think God gave me those so I'd blend in with the tall grass where my mother hid me. After my brothers and sisters and I were old enough to hunt, we left our pride and went out on our own. Most of the time, I'm pretty quiet. After all, if I'm making a lot of noise, it's gonna be hard for me to sneak up on my lunch. Shh, be quiet. A girl's gotta eat. Of course, there are times when I need to make a big, bold noise. Even though I look a lot like a lion, I don't roar. I've got a pretty intimidating scream, though. <laughs> Isn't that the cat's meow? When I need to catch a meal, I have to move fast. I'm glad God gave me such powerful legs to run, jump, and pounce. Without those mighty muscles, I'd go hungry. God made my legs so powerful, mountain lions can jump up to 18 feet high and 40 feet long. That'd be like me jumping on top of your house. God created me with muscles to leap and pounce. Sometimes you need to boldly leap or pounce on an opportunity. Maybe it's hard to be bold. You need to make a new friend, tell the truth, or boldly talk about Jesus. The Bible has this powerful promise for you. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. You can trust that Jesus' power will give you the strength you need to be bold. Jesus is right with you, cheering you on all the way. Pounce on the opportunity. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Take four 
more steps to the left, to the left. One, two, two the left. three, four. Turn it around and move to the right. One, two, two the right. Three. Now take tiny little jumps. Four to the front. One, two, the front, two, to the front, three, to the four. Four jumps back, but you better look back. One, two, three, four. Now freeze. And everybody clap your hands. Now stop. Meet Lauren. She's your pretty typical kid. She loves Legos and animals. These are freshwater fish. Mine is peaches. My brother's is Green Lantern. My sister's is Uma. She loves learning. My favorite subject in school is writing. I did write. This is kind of like a comic book. She also loves cruising around her basement on her scooter and bouncing on trampolines. Lauren also serves Jesus in a big, bold way by serving at her local food kitchen. I saw all the people who didn't have food, so I wanted to help them. My first time I served in community kitchen, I tried it in California, and I wanted to do it here. So I told my mom, and she found a place, and she said I can go. First thing, she meets with her crew to get a plan for the day. It feels nice, and it feels like God want me to do this, because it's important that people who don't have very much things, that we need to care for them. I am the drink and dessert person. When I do desserts, I walk back and forth taking down desserts and putting them on a table. Once everything is set up, they say a prayer before everyone is served. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the food that you have done. It's time to start serving. When they start, we have to pour the drinks. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, isn't it cool to see Lauren's boldness as she serves and meets all these grown-ups? You're welcome. We serve juice, we serve milk, and we serve coffee, hot chocolate. It makes me feel bold when I show them that I care about them and that they are important and that we should care for them. And they're always happy when I'm there. That makes me feel good. Thank you. Welcome. You're doing a great job. Thank you. You're welcome. Lauren enjoys serving so much, she invites others to serve with her. My brother wants to go with me, so he'll come next time. In the Bible, the book of Isaiah tells us he gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. God has given me the power to show people that they matter and that it's kind to care for people who need stuff and who are just on the streets, who don't have food, who don't have homes. They need stuff and I got the power from God to show them that they matter. Jesus' power helps us be bold.
heard some great news this morning. Cam and his crew were able to fix the tracks. Now they'll be able to go down the mountain and deliver all those M&Ms. Did I hear my name? Did, did someone say my name? Are you cheering for me? Yes, we are! We heard that you fixed the tracks. Are you ready to deliver all those M&Ms? Oh, yeah. Can't wait. So excited. Yeah. Oh, look, a squirrel. Cam, are you hiding? Uh, if you see a train conductor, can you tell him that I went to, um, uh, ooh, water my lawn? Cam, I don't know why you're hiding, but if you could just come out. Tell us what's going on. We can probably help you. Ooh, you're, you're right. Maybe I should wear a disguise. What do you think? Unless being disguised as a tree is what you're going for? I don't think so. Just tell us what's going on. Well, the conductor reminded me that before we get down the mountain, we have to go up and over a really steep one. And now he's trying to find me so we can get rolling, you know, full steam ahead. But I thought that's what you wanted to do, delivering the M&Ms and all. It is. It's just I've never gone down such a steep mountain before. I've gone over little hills and on long plains and around crazy curvy bends and super tall bridges, but I'm really nervous about going up and then back down such a steep mountain. Hmm. Doing new things takes courage and boldness, but I'm glad that I don't have to do it alone. Jesus' power helps us be bold, and you don't have to use your own strength. You can be sure that the one strong enough to create the mountains is strong enough to help you get over them. That sounds nice, but I'm still nervous. Well, we have some new songs that can help your situation, and it's all about Jesus' power and helping us be bold. Oh, okay, that, that might actually help a lot. Uh, I'll stay here while you guys sing and remind me of the power of Jesus, and then I'll go find the train conductor and tell him I'm ready. Thanks, guys. We believe in you, Cam! in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory just has made a place in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train now let's bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train, this train is bound for glory. This train, this train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. amazing i love that song and i love seeing all of you kids singing and dancing yeah we can see you and that was wonderful because this train is bound for glory as we load up on the rocky railway now i want you to think about something before we break out have you ever been bold bold you know brave willing to try something new or ready to share jesus christ we're getting ready to go to your groups so be thinking about when you were bold Chugga chugga. Choo choo. If you just wait patiently, we're going to be breaking out 
and you're going to go to your different classes. When were you bold? I was bold one time. I can remember. I can remember sharing with a friend about Jesus. Did you ever do that? Maybe you were bold when the first time you went swimming, you jumped in the water knowing that someone was going to help you, but you were bold enough to try. Maybe you went to Mass and Nutton and decided to go tubing and you were bold. I jumped in the deep one before. Yeah, jumped in the deep end before. That's being bold. Good job. I did with the tubes. You did too? That's when I was bold. And maybe you were bold and went on a roller coaster. That's bold. That can be really scary. No, that's me not. I'm not doing that. See, that's bold. Maybe when you went to school for the very first time, you were really scared to talk to anybody and you were bold enough to talk to people. Or maybe you were bold and took your training wheels off and rode your bike. Or learned to tie your shoe. Why would I do that? It's okay. I went on a 500 feet zip line before. Wow, that's bold. Now you will be all breaking out into your groups. We don't have very many of you left to go. And then it will be time for you to share with your leader how you were bold.